Yo, what's going on, people? So, I'm about to go back to the job in like, um, like 10 minutes. I'm not far from there. <clears throat> Just had my, my lunch. And I guess I'm, full, I'm, stuffed for, I'm stuffed for the rest of the day. I got a little, um, got a few things planned this weekend. Like, not going out, but I want to just get my oil change and everything. And I get paid tomorrow. I was laughing at, I'm only doing this video because I was laughing at this this uh, poll I posted on the community wall. <laughs> and I was just like, I asked the question, why um, would the world be different if black people didn't exist? And somebody said, um, I asked in a positive, what, 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 um, if black people didn't exist, would the world be different in a positive or a negative way? And somebody said positive. <laughs> I don't know who voted, but that was, but, um, I just asked, I'm not, I'm not declaring anything when I say that I'm just asking people sub to this channel because, you know, believe it or not, I'm going to keep all my videos up. I don't delete nothing. I don't delete comments. I don't, I don't block nobody. I wish I had access to that comment. Somebody left. They were saying how I wasn't offended by it. They said I was, I was, that was a disgrace. Now how I need to speak more positive about the black community and when people say that it's like why don't you talk about it if if you want to hear positivity <clears throat> why isn't your channel comprised of videos talking about positive things in the black community you just don't like videos where people are pointing out the the obvious um you know problems that go on you know it's like me talking about my childhood, like the dysfunction that, that I grew up in. You you talk about black kids that grew up in good neighborhoods. Make a channel about that. It's not that I'm, I'm, I'm not addressing anybody. It's just I hate when people, they go on videos, not necessarily mine, but they go on videos and they say how you should talk about the positives of this or that. Well, you talk about it. If you want to hear positivity, you make videos about it. But being autistic... And it's hard to, it's, it's actually, <laughs> I, I wouldn't have been able to say that, you know, five years ago. Because four years ago to this, four years ago on, um, open the door a little bit. I closed it because it was somebody behind me. I didn't want her thing. I was talking to myself, but I kind of am because I'm, I'm in my car, but I'm talking to my phone. But four years ago on, around the time X, X, X Tentacion died around like his his death date on the on um in 2020. I was diagnosed with autism on I believe it was a Friday, and I remember it very clearly. I was told over the phone, but I always knew, I always knew, I wasn't like the same as everybody else, but I don't. Believe it or not, I don't really trust. Oh, I made it very clear. I don't. I don't trust doctors at this point. I don't trust like the word of a doctor on how they could help me. I really, what really helps me overcome a lot of things is is just getting out in the real world and just dealing with my problems. No medication, no therapy, because medication only makes you tired, bloated, zombieish. Therapy is a waste of time. What I honestly, a lot of the time, I just suck it up and just deal with it. But a lot of autistic, um, because I, I want to want to throw this part in. I wanted to say that um, a lot of black autistic men, not really women, but a lot of black autistic men have real bad racial identities, like a racial identity crisis well that's not even i don't want to say that they just don't identify with the black community a lot of the times black men that are on the spectrum sometimes they don't well a lot of the times they don't identify with the black community Baraka mccray is a perfect example kent tv me um dennis rodman <laughs> um there's a few more but um there's a reason why we don't. And I may enlighten some people in this video. Because this is the thing. 
I I really wanted to be like an ambassador for the black community at one point. I really wanted to. But I just I saw the reality. I well, I really realized that a few weeks ago that there is no community. There's no black community. There's no black unity. You know, everybody is just all for themselves. That's some shit from the 70s and the 60s. But where I was blinded at was me. And I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it now. I was thinking that I wasn't black and I was somebody else than me. And that's where I messed up at because and I, don't, I don't blame them. They, um, why when I was, uh, I, I, I was just, my channel can, my old videos can kind of speak for, um, me, like on my old channel. I was a little bit of a, of a, like a buck dancer, uh, like a, Uncle Tom is, is, is not like the right word you want to use. I will say I once catered to whites more after my experience with getting attacked because that really, it really messed me up because like getting robbed is one thing, but physical violence is, is, um, it's totally different. It's, it, it's a different effect with physical violence, but I want to just in this video, the main three reasons why a lot of black men that are autistic don't identify with the black community. Cause Barack McCray is a perfect example of that first it's not really conventional to be disabled in the black community. You know, that is looked at as a weakness. You talk about a community where people prey on one another off of, you know, advantage. Well, off of what they're able to do and what they're not able to do. So, you know, that's something to consider. Two, we think very differently. We may not dress the same. We may not listen to the same kind of music. We may not talk the same. I mean, some. Oh yeah, I want to put in uh, Darius Darius McCollum. He's a Brooklyn native who who hijacked subways. His his wife was was Mexican. But um, you know, we um, what was I saying? Yeah, we we um, we listen to things that are different. Some people claim some people say that we we talk we talk white i mean me i once had no bass in my voice see i i'm i gotta put on a persona in in the real world because i'm on my own that you know leave me the hell alone like that i gotta put on that persona so i i have a little more bass in my voice but when i was around whites more I did tend to um, like soften my voice because I didn't want to come over as a threat. But we we're accused of being of of like being white, um, and that's ridiculous because black culture is is nothing but white culture and black face. I mean, everything you learn, everything you do, comes from white people. It's no such thing really is black culture if everything you learn speaking english you know eating chicken and rap music i mean who do you think started rap music where it's so com it's commercialized you you know you listen to it on the radio who do you think allow rappers to perform on the radio i'm just getting cut of high right now but because i want to just um i want a video to i don't want the sound in the background interfere with the video but we talk different, we dress different. Um, you know, when you're when you're not the same in the black community, you tend to want to be part part of other communities, and it goes with some white people too. White people who don't identify as the conventional white person, they tend to go to the black side because they understand. And it's true, we accept anybody in our community. You don't have to be black. You can just say, like, you identify as a black, as a black man or black woman. I want to tell you a little quick story. I remember watching this, this uh, audition. I don't know how this just popped in my mind, but it was an audition for, I think it was The Voice or American Idol. It was a singer. And I remember him because I made a video on him when I had an old YouTube channel. 
His name was Papa Peaches. And he said that he identified as a black woman. And nobody found that nothing wrong with him saying that. But he understood that the black community will take anybody. We will accept anybody who says they they uh they got a brother who has a sister who's barber whose next door neighbor has um who's black and he has a has a freaking um he has a he has a best friend who's who's uh cousin's barber's neighbor's motorcycle mechanic is black you know i just made that up that was that was real corny but i'm uh, i'm gonna get back to work